right, uh, completed our second uh, scrimmage today. Um, really starting out the day, we, uh, we went live, field goal, field goal block. Um, you know, really just trying to develop some depth on the offensive line, you know, for, for, for field goal protection. And really just try to, uh, you know, pick up where we left off. You know, uh, we did a great job defensively blocking kicks last year. So that was an emphasis at the very first of practice. Um, then we did some uh, special teams work, uh, punt, punt return. Uh, did some live reps with that. It's really good for our punt returners. You know, the three, same three guys uh, rotated, uh, you know, really just looking at it from the scrimmage. I don't think there's a whole lot of separation from the different things. And then we did a couple sky kicks. Uh, of course, that's been a point of emphasis for us. Uh, we were average uh, last year uh, at executing sky kicks. And it was good for our returners to get back on the 10 yard line, have to make decisions uh, and all that. Then we, uh, uh, we went ahead and went uh, some two minute situations. Um, you know, I think we've went eight two minute situations in the last two days with the SEC officials. It's always really good to, to execute that. You know, it helps, helps our young quarterbacks, you know, learn what the expectations are and put them in as many situations uh, as possible, you know, to try to get them game ready too. Uh, both quarterbacks, uh, you know, rotated uh, equally the last two days with a two minute. And, and I think, you know, obviously it's great for our defense in those situations too. After that, uh, we put the ball down. It was a real similar scrimmage to what it was. Um, the, uh, the last uh, scrimmage, about the same number of plays with the ones, twos, and threes, quarterbacks rotated equally. There was a little bit more of an emphasis on throwing the ball. Um, this this uh, scrimmage usually is, uh, that's by design. Um, you know, our, our receivers, uh, you know, were a little inconsistent. We had a couple big drops that really would have really kept drives alive and probably put some points on the board as far as that goes. The offense overall uh, really rebounded. Uh, you know, we're starting to look like an Auburn offense. If we get uh, just the inconsistencies uh, with a few drops, I think we'd have felt a little, little bit better uh, about that. But uh, overall, it was, a, it was a really good day. It was hot uh, the last three days. It's been extremely hot. Really feel like our guys have uh, have battled through and uh, pushed themselves through, not feeling sorry for themselves, and you know that's really encouraging. We're building the character of our team right now, and uh, so really feel good from that standpoint, just from uh, uh, the leadership and uh, you know, our attitude overall. Uh, you know, pushing through the heat. Questions. Did this scrimmage get you a meaningful step closer in the quarterback battle? No, you know, I think I think anytime you scrimmage, like I said last time, it's going to give us great information. You know, sitting here today, I can't tell you any more really than I did last time. But uh, other than the fact we got two scrimmages now, and uh, we, we're getting more and more information, and I thought both guys at times, uh, you know, did a, did a very solid day today. Like I said, we, we're starting to look like an Auburn offense. We're not there yet, but we're starting to look that. You see flashes, and uh, so. Like I said, overall, I think both those guys did some good things. And then Cord got, you know, some reps towards the end, and he's a guy that uh, continues to improve. Too. When you've had several of your top receivers out with the injury in these last two scrimmages, you have backups and you want someone to stand up. Yeah. Is that a little disappointing? And is there anyone that's Yeah, stood up? you know, there's a couple guys that we're just trying to be smart with. That's going to be fine. You know, for the first game, we're trying to develop some depth. Um, you know, J.J. Wilson's a guy that's really stood out so far about – uh, just uh, you know, wanting the ball and attacking the ball and really doing a good job overall. And so we really want to give him a look. Zach Farrar, same same type deal. And you know, it looks like he's improving. You know, each practice too. And then some of our older guys that hadn't started before, the Marquis McLeans and of course Sal, we're giving them guys plenty of opportunities because you know we're going to need everybody. And uh, you know, this is a really way we've been looking at is it, a great opportunity to develop depth. And uh, so they're getting all they want. Seth Williams, uh, you know, he did a good job this week in practice. We're kind of moving him around a little bit. And so, uh, like I said, we just got to continue to improve. We got to get more consistent, really just catching the basic balls, I'd say, at this point. Does Jake, what, uh, Jake Brown, where does he fit in today as far as getting the ball? Yeah, uh, Tyler. Tyler, sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, Tyler, we're moving him around. Uh, you know, he's got a unique skill set. So, you know, we've been playing at tight end, H-back, uh, but also we're moving him out wide some. And that's kind of what he did in high school anyway. He's a big body. Uh, he's a guy that needs to take the next step, and, and we told him that. He's a guy that could help us this year. Uh, he's showing flashes, um, you know, of, of being able to do that. And, 
you know, that's going to be a big key. You know, every year we've had a chance to win a championship here. We've had freshmen that uh, that helped us and played big roles in, in big games. And so we've challenged not only him, but we've challenged all those freshmen. You know, we recruit those guys to play. And the reality is now they're here, and now they got the opportunity to do it, and they just got to do it. Guess what did you see from the defense today? Yeah, defense did a good job. Um, the defense, uh, you know, you know, what I like is you can tell we're an experienced defense. So let's say today there was a new wrinkle that was a successful play on offense. All right, there's one on my mind today that was an explosive play. Tried to run it, disguise it later in the scrimmage, and they sniffed it out. I mean, so just tells you, like, the veteran group can make an adjustments, which is so important, you know, in the course of games. When you exit preseason camp, you get that day break, everybody goes to class. Yeah. When you return to practice on the 20th, do you want to be like, this is our starting quarterback? This is our, another, our yeah, second I'm, I'm not ready to say that today. Uh, kind of like I said at the very first, you know, whenever it is it feels right and you want it to be, like, really clear, um, that's when we'll name it. Now, that'll be two weeks away. And, you know, that's when you start school, that's when you really start <coughs> the emphasis on them. This next week will be a little bit of the first and a little bit of keep developing the finer tune things. So, you know, not ready to say that yet, but we will have our base plan in uh, for Oregon so we can really start stressing those things. What would you see from your running backs today? Uh, all the running backs scrimmaged. I think all of them, uh, you know, carried the ball. Um, I think we had one ball on the ground, but he got it back and just kind of hit and kind of got away and he got it back. Um, but that's what you're looking for. Right now, like, we got some talented running backs, and I think anybody, all those guys we got can help us win. But first game, who, who do we trust? Who, who's going to hold on the ball? That's the number one thing. So that's really what I've been stressing and Cadillac's been stressing. You able to run the football more effectively this scrimmage? Yeah, you know, I, I think. I think overall it was like, like I said, it, it was more balanced. And like I said, we're close to starting to look like an Auburn offense. So that's – being able to throw it and run it, you know, close. We're not there yet, but I saw improvement today. And, you know, that's the encouraging thing. And I'd like to think once we, you know, get our veteran receivers out there, it'll even be a little bit cleaner. How do you balance that when you have a quarterback competition and you're getting closer to game prep yeah. with these receivers that you're holding yeah, out? You can still time? see the ball placement. Should the ball have been caught? Should it not? Did they throw the ball away when he's covered? Did he catch it where he can catch or nobody can catch? I mean, or thought where he can catch or nobody can. I mean, those things you can evaluate. And uh, so, like I said, and there's nothing like a scrimmage getting out there and put the ball down. Coaches are on the sidelines and down in distance, thinking. And then the two minute situations, too, are also um, you know, very good information, too. You mentioned JJ Wilson, but does he bring anything to that H back tight end slot that you might not have had the last few years? Well, I mean, like, he's versatile. I mean, the guy's like, he could play a lot of different positions. He could play a role wide receiver position. He could probably play running back. I mean, he knew a lot of different things, you know. So, you know, but I will say this, uh, you know, the other two H-backs, I mean, the older guys, I mean, you can tell they've improved now. And so it feels good that, you know, we have three of them and we can do a little bit more more things. We might be in 12 personnel a little bit more, you know, so it gives us a little more flexibility and, you know, and so – that's that's a good thing as far as going into the season. How do you think Matthew Hill's done with probably getting a little bit more reps? Yeah, he's, he's, getting all, he's getting most of the reps with the ones right now. And, you know, the, there's some good and some things he needs to improve on. I mean, he's one of those guys that we're really needing to take that next step. He showed flashes. He made a couple of wild plays. But just we just got to be consistent, you know, consistent with everything that goes on. There's nothing better than getting out there with the ones and uh, you know, showing what you can do when the pressure's on. Was anyone held out of the scrimmage today? Uh, no, all the offensive guys. Seth Williams was limited. Uh, he did the he did the, uh, the two minute, but uh, that wasn't. If we played today, he'd have played. If we played a, another team, so. Uh, but everybody else played. And no one was held out. You know, we got a couple guys that are a little banged up. You know, the younger guys and all that that y'all probably saw. You know, yesterday at practice, the day of practice, but um, everybody else. Oh, we got play. Anything else? Good. All right, thank you. Thank you.